Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to make an inverting amplifier with the help of the operational amplifier or simply op-amp. As we know that op-amps are usually in the form of IC packages. So on right hand side you can search for your integrated circuits and here you will see your operational amplifier this is a generic operational amplifier usually with the name of 741 uh, op amp so there are two power pins one non inverting pin and one is the inverting pin and one is the output simply it is a 5 pin module in front of us so you just need to do one thing and that is to First, you need to give it the supplies that is the positive positive pin or non-inverting pin with the ground. You have to connect it with the ground. This, these are the standard connections for the non in for the inverting amplifiers, not the non-inverting. These are the inverting amplifiers. So, so now we have placed ground with the non-inverting pin that is the positive pin of the op amp also take voltage rail that is of a 9 volt you you need to connect it with the what's called as the with this pin that is the uh, this upper pin of of upper power pin of the op amp 9 volt and one voltage rail with the Okay, now we have to make it nine minus nine volt. So these are our thresholds in which our uh, op-amp can perform. Okay, that is plus nine volt and minus nine volt. Okay, now now we will take two resistors. That is RF. That is feedback and RN. So go for resistors. This is resistor one. This is resistor two. Now rotate them out. Okay. Yeah, like this. Or we can even make this uh, a little bit like. Uh, okay, so. Like this. And we have to place feedback resistor here in between the output and the inverting pin. Like this and this one. Okay, this one. This is the 10 K pin. Okay, now. Okay, now this is our. Okay, so this is R2 1 K. R1 is 10 K and R2 is 1 K. So we have to calculate the gain of this amplifier which is equal to minus rf by ri and minus shows the inverting output means that positive cycle of the output will be just uh, on the negative cycle of the input so that is why it is 180 out of phase and it is called as the inverting output now okay now okay but more thing is that we have to take our sign signal, simple sign signal so that, okay, take this AC voltage signal, okay, you can use it for our, what's called as the input signal. So this is like this and this. Now change its voltage to one volt. Yeah, so, Oh, one volt, yeah, one volt is enough. Now this minus RF by RI. One more thing that uh, we we have to decrease the value to three K. Uh, three K. Why is so? Because three by one minus three by one gives us three again. Okay, minus three multiplied by V in, which is one. So minus it it is equal to gain. Minus RF by 
R I means that minus 3k by 1k multiplied by input voltage. It will be the output. Now for output we need to take our oscilloscope channel 1 and take two grounds as well. For channel 2 we can connect this oh sorry positive positive side okay. Okay, with the input. So on one on one channel we will observe the output, while on one we will observe the input. So take uh, go and take your grounds as well and connect them with the negative sides of the oscilloscope. Okay, now this is before this. You need to click on oscilloscope, go to it, graph, and we will show our graph here. Okay, like this and this. Now, this one volt signal is actually the RMS. So, it uh, if uh, peak is concerned, it must be like uh, 1.3, 1.4. Okay. So output must be considered as the peak, not the RMS. Okay, we are not getting our negative side, so we will go for minus 12 negative here. Now you can see that our input is around 1.5 or like this, while output is uh, minus 3 multiplied by 1.5 so it is round 4.5 as you can see in the red waveform moreover our signals are totally inverted like uh, the positive end or the positive cycle of the output is just above the negative sorry it's just above the negative cycle of the input so in this way uh, you can simulate it out so hopefully you got the concept that how you can simulate an inverting operational amplifier within the circuit wizard. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.